Hello friends, my name is Raza Masood. Today we will discuss about a topic cost benefit analysis. <coughs> Friend, today's topic is uh, very important and very interesting with respect to project management, PMP, project management body of knowledge. Uh, basically, friend, we will see this topic today uh, with respect to project management and uh, how it this topic fits with the concept of project management. Uh, also, friend, if you are a student and are studying in university or uh, project management or uh, you are planning to give exam a PMP, so friend, with respect to exam point of view, this is a very important topic and you will see this topic in the exam of project management. Also, friend, if you are a professional project manager and working in any organization as a professional project manager, so you this is necessary, this is important that you must have to understand the cost uh, concept of cost benefit analysis and how to use this concept in the project selections and project uh, uh, project initiations methodologies. So, uh, friend, let's start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you so let's start cost benefit analysis friend first of all uh, see one thing that we are talking about we are discussing this topic with respect to project management okay first of all we have to see that why what is the link of cost benefit analysis with with the project management actually friend see uh, whenever we are uh, implementing projects in organizations organizations have multiple options like for example uh, uh, ABC company has uh, four uh, four projects in hands and they are thinking to they are uh, there are options available like project A project B project C project D okay they are thinking that they can uh, start any of the project now what is the criteria at which they will decide that which project they should start see friend basically everyone is uh, working for business business means they are want they want profit profit in their investment so uh, keeping in mind all these concepts basically they are working for projects and purpose of making project is to make money make revenue so that's why they are working they are that's why they, they are doing business so the project selection methodology project initiation uh, criteria is this one of the criteria is cost benefit analysis cost benefit analysis first of all first of all friend uh, we have to understand the concept of project here what is basically a uh, project we are talking about again and again about project Project, as per the definition of Pimbok friend, project is a temporary activity which has a beginning and ending point and it gives you a unique output of product that is called as a project. For example, just take uh, another, just take an example like for example, uh, on location A, you have to build a flyover, okay, and um, it will connect like for example, location a to location B and location C to location D etc etc so the purpose uh, the uh, implementation and the building of a flyover at some particular location it is an example of a project why friend because it is a temporary activity it gives you a unique output and after finishing a project for example it this this project will finish within one year for example so after one year you have a unique output a unique pr product uh, unique result that is called as a flyover and uh, it will be a temporary activity like temporary activity means that after one year the project will finish no more activities will be going on on the uh, flyover and flyover will be open for the uh, for the passengers and for the traffic okay so that is an example of a project Remember friend one thing the project is always a temporary activity Tem project can never ever be a, a ongoing activity if it is an ongoing activity it will be a uh, it will be a operational work it cannot be considered as a project now friend whenever we are implementing projects uh, whenever we are initiating projects okay so we have to do the cost benefit analysis for example like for example just take the example like you are working in an organization an organization has uh, 
two op uh, options like they can build the flyover at some location A and they can build the flyover on location B for example. Wha on which criteria and what are the basis at which they will select the, that particular uh, decision that whether they will build the flyover on location A or location B at which criteria. Friend, cost benefit analysis is basically the criteria provided by the analysis that which option is better. Basically, it cost benefit analysis gives you the strength, gives you the analysis, gives you the power to take a decision. Okay, this is basically uh, giving you a ground, this is giving you a justification to do something. Okay, I take another example as well. For example, uh, you have some funds available, you have some money in your hand and you want to invest somewhere, okay? Like for example, you want to invest uh, in a stock, in property, etc., anything. So, uh, at which criteria, at which basis you will invest your money somewhere? The cost-benefit analysis. Cost-benefit analysis means, friend, that you will invest some money how much will be the cost and what will be the benefit you will get just take these two words in your mind cost benefit analysis just take those two words cost benefit so cost benefit means that the cost which you are investing the cost which you are putting in something and the benefits the incent benefits which you are getting from somewhere uh, from from the investment so it is this is the this is just take the um, you can say the comparison the comparison is that for example if, if I am investing uh, if I am investing thousand dollar so how much benefit I am getting from there like for example if I am getting uh, fifteen hundred dollar from my investment so that means that it is a wise decision it is a right decision if I am getting only eight hundred dollars, so that means that I am not getting my investment return back. So uh, profit is uh, long beha behind. So definitely I need uh, profit. So friend, remember friend, one thing that cost benefit analysis is a process business used to analyze decisions. The business or analyst sums the benefit of a situation or action and then subtract the cost associated with uh, taking that action basically friend just uh, remember friend one thing what you can do like in excel sheet if you are taking some action for example uh, just take an example like for example uh, you are investing uh, you you have one thousand dollar in your pocket in your account and you want to invest in a stock exchange for example so what you can do how you can do the cost benefit analysis just open the excel sheet and in one column you just put that how much cost you will put you will invest like one thousand dollar you will invest and how much benefit you will get from there for example if you are getting fifteen dollar uh, back so that means it is a better wise decision if you are getting back only eight hundred dollar or $900 back so that means it is not a wise decision because you are in a negative uh, you are in a negative ne negative means that yeah, you, you will be in a loss so friend cost benefit analysis means just to remember one thing that just put the benefits the comparison of benefits which you are getting from the investment and the cost which you are investing with the funds the money which you are investing so this is just the summation summation of cost all the cost which you are investing and all the benefits which you are getting back so just these are the this is the comparison of the uh, cost and the benefit because see friend if you have the comparison in your hand so it will be very easy for you to understand and uh, understand and take the decision so friend why cost benefit analysis is why use cost benefit analysis Friend, whenever we are taking decisions and whenever we are uh, initiating some projects, basically we need some justification, friend. And also the ground reality, realities are very important, friend. See, friend, here that if you are initiating something like some project you are initiating, so what are the basis, what are the ground on which you are taking the decisions? Like whether you are getting some 
profit or not friend so this is this analysis is very uh, is very necessary at the time of initiation of a project when you are planning the things when you are initiating the things and you also need justification in front of your senior management as well like for example you are let's suppose you are initiating a project of a mobile application through which customers can do fund transfer uh, for a banking application for a banks now friend if you are initiating something obviously friend you know it very well if you want to initiate something you need money you need funds in your hand so now the criteria like for example if someone obviously someone asks from you that what is the criteria why we we need to invest something okay that is a very basic question that everyone will ask from you that what is the need to invest in mobile application so if you have a cost benefit analysis in your hand like you can justify that if we put something that particular cost in in a project of mobile application so what benefits you will get from there if the benefits are more than the investment so obviously it is a wise decision to go for it if the benefits are less than the investment so that means it is not wise to take that particular decision okay so the cost benefit analysis is basically giving you a concrete and realistic approach and the documented uh, analysis at which you can take decision like the decisions is not based on something like any it is not an emotional decision it is based on the calculated uh, financial decision so friend uh, that's all from my side i hope uh, you like this video if you like please share it with your friends and colleagues and thank you thanks a lot for your time and that's all from my side